Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Le Dirge. I'm Ben Hansen from Inmax, and uh, I'm here in the studio by myself because everybody else bailed on me, but they are here remotely. We have my old friend Grant. Hello. And then uh, my, well, I was going to say oldest friend, but uh, oldest best friend, Ronnie. Hello. <laughs> Ronnie, the man who got me into Final Fantasy VII originally, so it's his fault that today of all days we're playing Dirge of Cerberus, Final Fantasy VII on the PlayStation 2. And, and I'm I'm just now regretting it. Yep, correct. Uh, <laughs> thanks for joining us, everybody. Uh, <laughs> pleasure to have you here. This is part of the celebration of Final Fantasy VII, where we're playing through the Dirge of Cerberus game on PlayStation 2. And then also we did a commentary track, which is Patreon exclusive at patreon.com slash minmax to wins um, for Advent Children. Um, and then we're also going to stream all of Midgar before the Holiest of Holies, the remake, is released. But hey, that's coming up soon, you guys. Have you noticed that? Dangerously soon. It is frightening how soon that is. So oh. soon that. Sorry, Dave. It, no, it's just, I was going to say, it's very scary. It is intimidating. We're going to have a lot of opinions about that very soon. But hey, thanks for joining us, Lazarus Orange, and the smack and the chat. All right, let's uh, get this road on the show, as Ben Reeves likes to say. Uh, it's unclear how much we have left in this game. All I know for sure is that Puppy Palooza on Twitch is a liar. And I Call want out. his head on a pike. <laughs> no. Get him in here. <laughs> so he's the one that was like, oh, man, you can finish this in uh, three minutes. And uh, this is the third play session since he said that, I believe. <laughs> he's one of the few people who's actually played through this game uh, and seems to remember it well. Oh, my God. Hello, DeFeo. Thank you for joining us on Twitch. <laughs> uh, what's so funny, Graham? Uh, DeFeo just coming in hot here. I like that. You got to read what they say, buddy. Uh, DeFeo cannot wait to see Ben try again. I think we're all in the same boat here. <laughs> Honestly, I was troubleshooting some stuff earlier today, and I really had a moment where I was like, I think I might break down during this stream. I think I just might start crying. It's been a frantic day, and so my way to really unwind at the end of the day is shooting <laughs> effing robots on an elevator with this freakzilla. Yeah, no, I get it. It's it's tight gameplay, so... You know what? It's weird you say tight. I was thinking that exact same thing. Um... About your budget. Um, hold for applause. That is that is honestly the most like G-rated <laughs> way that that could possibly go. Uh, of all the things you could have said, that might cut the hardest. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, no, I was saying that like on the PS2 controller, I'm like these sticks on the PS2 controller are surprisingly tight. Like it actually feels, other than being really uncomfortably light, uh, it's yeah. light but tight, which is how I like to describe the PS2 controller. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm holding a PS4 controller right now, and the difference is just stunning. Are you, uh, you're not playing Warzone right now, are you, Grant? No, no, I'm not. Oh, good. Hey. I am, however. <laughs> <laughs> totally acceptable. Uh, also, we need, uh, you guys on Health Patrol. People in the chat, let me know when that health starts dipping, because you have a tight reserve of items. If you're not familiar with Dirge of Cerberus, it's a real SOB of a game, and so you have, like, a max number of items. Oh, it seems like we only have two mega potions? My god. Ouch. And then red potions, which... Fast too. Yeah. yeah. And then this, everybody knows, randomly restores an amount of HP, so it's the handiest item in the world. It seems it's random or 200? It seems directly <laughs> commensurate with exactly uh, the opposite of what you need at the moment. Yes, that is very true. Uh, yes. Hello, Charles slash TG on Twitch. Uh, Matt Parsa. Thanks for, thanks for being here, everybody. Thanks for celebrating Final Fantasy VII with us. And the only way we know how, beating our head against a wall. Yeah. I'm, all, I'm also really excited for um, the Midgar playthrough. I've just been, I've been kind of daydreaming about that. Really? Yeah. It's yeah. Gonna, I, I don't know. I just, every, every time, I mean, this is like an excuse, a valid excuse to play a little bit of Final Fantasy VII um, in the coming weeks. Absolutely. Why not? Yeah. And at the same time, it's like, I guess I haven't played... Final Fantasy VII with you since um, seventh grade, so, <laughs> so that'll be interesting. Yeah, yeah it was. Uh, I think we went through we went through all of this too. Was it in one night? Yes, correct. Amundo yeah. is very fun. Yeah. So you can't see because my face is covering it up, but I have ten thousand gil. Should I buy an elixir? Or what are the odds mm. I find an elixir coming up? Because because mm, a mega some... potion is fifteen hundred. Yeah, Makes, I mean. It just doesn't seem like you have that much to do with MP. Yeah. You do, you just, you just 
uh, don't use it. Well, I learned the lesson. <laughs> By the end of the play session last time, I was an expert here, so... Um... That's true. Okay, so we got some money to burn. We can go from Cerberus 2 to Cerberus 3, which I think was the pistol, correct? I think uh, right. Yeah. Yeah, the pistol is. Okay. Well, God, do I spend half my gill on that pistol upgrade? That's correct. Uh, I think we still have three Horsemen of the Apocalypse left. So... What I don't is know, that? That's it. The, the rest of the, the Viets. Oh. So I should buy the upgrade? Uh, I was leaning potions. Oh. Well, just elixir. I'm going to... I think... I maxed I, out I on potions. Know, man. I'm good. I think I think we just plow ahead. Okay. We can We can not mess this up. Okay, we got machine gun bullets like crazy. Okay, of course it's L2 to change wh wh your weapon. If this game existed, or if Min Max existed in 2006, I mean, Goaty Hunt would have been over from the start. Oh, There's 100%. no question. Yeah, we just would have started it. Look, it's like Bioshock. You look through the glass and you see there's storytelling right over here. It's oh, just no! like Bioshock. <laughs> They're out of the glass! Do you remember in Jurassic Park when Ellie Sadler's like, They're coming through the glass! Talking about the raptors? Yep. But they didn't really do that. Well, it was it was terrifying even as, as a wee little child to see um, like a raptor want to eat something so badly that they're pushing their nose through the glass and I just health kept thinking... Low. Health is low. Yes, thank you, Grant. Uh, uh, your health is low. <laughs> I kept thinking that same thing, too. You're thinking of Lost World is when they shove their little snout through the glass to get through oh, the car. Oh, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Classic faux pas. I feel like I should run back to... It's a stupid thing at this point, like the, the vending machine, the jukebox, because this could be going better. <laughs> I don't I don't know if it can. Okay. Also, here's a dumb thing to admit at part five of a playthrough, but I'm not... Hello. His name is Vincent, yes. It is Vincent Valentine. <laughs> now, that's confusing, because Jill Valentine is from Resident <laughs> Evil, so I can never keep this straight. I know. There's a statement coming out later today. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you idiots still asking us about this? From Tim Cook at Apple. I don't know. Um, but, uh, ooh, look at this world map. Ooh, look at this. What, what is on? happening? Okay. You, uh, 275 health. Jesus going down, buddy. Christ. Well, you just sat there. <laughs> <laughs> just so clicking slaughter. your gun. <laughs> scowling at him menacingly. I said click, click, boom. I don't know what yeah, else I gotta I do. Yeah, I heard Vin say, what's the matter? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we gotta get back to that jukebox. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you really, yeah. It went from just a luxury to imperative status. You're pretty fast. Yeah. What have we wrought? All right, are there any other these weird... Okay, look at this. My God. Don't come through that door. Oh, no. They know exactly where I am. Well, at least the top secret files are okay. Okay. Now, hang on. How do I get back to the jukebox? God, this map sucks. Donkey baloney. How do I... Is it... Um, I don't remember where it was exactly. It's I think it's help you. gotta be up that way, right? Because I think, yeah, it wants me to go this way, so... The way I'm facing now, let's try and just sneak squirt our way over there. He sneaks so casually. <laughs> His cape barely dragging on the ground. <laughs> oh, Vincent, you're a silly guy. Hang on a second. Now, this is something that could have come in handy a while ago. <laughs> is this dodge move that I've not used. Oh, I feel like we've said uh, a dodge move would be helpful i think 30 or 40 times 30 40 times <laughs> here's the thing i because i was talking about the mechanics of this game on the acts of the blood game sorry acts of the blood god podcast um and then somebody cat bailey was reading off the changes from the japanese to the american version and like american version they added a dodge i was like what that doesn't sound right and i double checked the tutorial or like the manual right before this and it just says duck because it must be yeah. the, the translation from the Japanese, so they didn't have it in there because it was uh, added. So, hey, this game just got a whole lot better, folks, because we can do this now. Okay. Oh, here we go. 
Uh, how are y'all doing? Do you remember where we are? Do, no. do, I, do I remember? Oh, absolutely. We're, uh, we're in uh, Midgar, right? <clears throat> we're below yes. the Shinner headquarters. Oh, right. We went, uh, we went downstairs mm -hmm. into the, the, the sewers. We fought the yeah. buggy bugs. Yeah, we found the bugs. I, I don't remember... It's not a door. Much after that. Uh, you got a you got a call from the the homeboys too, Cloud and yeah. Barrett and Tifa. They're yeah. tearing stuff up. There's no doubt about it. Oh, good God! That's a good dodge. Do you think? Well, I was trying to actually duck. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hang on a second now. Dip, duck, dive, dodge. It's all the same. All right. Now you might be familiar with this little technique. What are you trying to pull here? It's called. He's being going a... back to it. What would you have me do? Not use this? <laughs> okay. Now we're going full Metal Gear here. Okay, this SOB is up here. When was the first time, Grant, you heard the phrase SOB? I have, I have no idea. Oh, I was hoping you go for oh. my, which, my uh, example, which is the Simpsons episode with yes. Dabo. That is 100%. I just watched that. Oh, really? Where it's like, everyone yeah. in Springfield's an SOB. Everyone's an SOB. Yeah. And I was like, what is he? What is he talking about? <laughs> good looking world. Oh, yeah. oh, I get more secrets, eh? Don't mind if I do. Uh, uh, I uh, had an epiphany the other day. Dirge of Cerberus Go is on. a real game that we're playing. <laughs> Doing zero? What's happening? Is that an uh, armored target of some sort? Oh, I didn't account for this. Can you use lightning on that? Looks like a lightning oh, kind of guy. Yeah, that. and it looks like I have lightning on this gun, yes? Yes. Did that do something? Yes, it did a lot. Yeah, hundreds. But you probably have to do that again. Well, Seems I'm to be trying. The only way. Um, I'm not sure if I have any more MP at the moment. They're learning. <laughs> they know I'm down and out. Okay, I hey, guess I'll just go. run by you. Can I shoot him from behind? You're dead. <laughs> what was oh, that fade wow. out? All right. I guess that works. Um, oh, anyways. So you, was, had a, you had an epiphany. I had an epiphany, and it was... Um, uh, hang on. At some point, I just had a flashback here. I'm sorry. I'm scattered today. Um, I just remembered I was talking to Jeff Cork once, and I said... I said, um, I was eating my eggs this morning and I had an epiphany. And Jeff Cork said, breakfast epiphanies. <laughs> and Not it, bad. It blew my Not mind. Bad. But anyway, so I had a breakfast epiphany the other day. What if they took and made a spinoff from Final Fantasy VII, but it was the same world, but set like a thousand years in the past? Okay. So they had like black mages and it was like, you know, the... Let's go with like Final Fantasy IX, I guess, level tech, but in the Final Fantasy VII world. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. So you get to see like Midgar, but it's like, oh, it's just like a pretty small little city. Maybe there's like a castle at Midgar instead of a headquarters, you know, all that kind of stuff. Right. You into it? You buying what I'm selling? I, I, here's the thing. Like, you just kind of assumed that there were black mages some at some point in the Final Fantasy Seven universe. And I, think, I I don't know. I think they true? went extinct. Yeah, I think. You it's, think they went extinct? Yeah. I think so. Isn't that the implication in all Final, Final Fantasies where there aren't black mages roaming around that look like that? Is that just that's like medieval times or something? I don't think that's the. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that's an assumption. Hey, I mean, the, the the quotes guys look pretty black magey a little bit. The little you know experiment dudes. I mean. If you call it a black mage, you might as well call it turd in the toilet a black mage, Grant, because... Sometimes I do. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye, black mage. <laughs> what? Where were you? Oh, hey, it's, it's a zero. Oh, my God. <laughs> Help us, <Hey>, love. <laughs> <laughs> what a stupid series of events. Okay. <laughs> my God. All right. Back in the action. Yeah. Um... But I never assumed that uh, uh, black mages would be in this world, ever. I mean, I guess I didn't really either until the other morning when I was just thinking about that. I think I think it's fun to assume that that's the case. God, I don't like these things. Um, I would also like to play a spinoff where you play as um, 
Rufus or anybody in Shinra. Like as their little baby? Or what is no, it? No, real, real-time Final Fantasy VII events playing as uh, Shinra. What would you get out like of that? that? It'd be like a management sim or something. A satisfying one. <laughs> yeah. It's just like football manager, but it's just like managing the Turk salaries and stuff. Michael yes, Palmer. Oh! <laughs> All right. Crushes no items waiting for me down here. There we go. Uh, let us know if the volume is okay for everybody and stuff here in the chat. Okay. More identical areas. That's how you know we're making progress. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That'd be a jukebox in this And we all know that that's, that's whose laugh? It's Boogenhagen's, of course. <laughs> right. And if I were to go, yeah, ha, 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 who would that be? Uh, that's Heidegger. That's right. <laughs> Welcome to Final Fantasy VII Laugh Trivia. Uh, Ronnie's a bit of a one-man show here. No one's bought a ticket yet, but it's technically a show. Uh, we keep trying to they tell him there's a... $200 a piece. Um, <laughs> and there is a quarantine happening. The state of Minnesota is shut down, but he will not take no for an answer. He says the show goes on. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Holds for answer. Okay. Uh, Up to 10 different questions. <laughs> they do loop at a certain point, so you'll get better. Okay, I'll take this. I'll take this little MP restore. We got oh. Scorch saying this looks very similar to the first stream, except for who's at the table. Uh, these corridors yeah. look very, very different, Scorch. Uh, but it's a little bit blue, Scorch, so you're not too far off. And we've learned a lot along the way. It's not like we're the same people. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> All right. Uh, Antel Roy says, hello, nerds. I think he's in the wrong stream. I don't know who he's talking to. Who here. said that? I don't, he must have laughed. I don't know. Okay, good. Because he's got some nerve. <laughs> God, I'm used to, um, I've been playing a lot of Resident Evil 3, and the barrels... Hey, how do you like that? I do like it. There's a lot to talk about there, but um, the exploding barrel, barrels in that game are so generous. Like, you shoot a barrel oh. there, and Nemesis is like, ow, my balls. <laughs> <laughs> um, Glad they put that audio in there. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people thought they'd cut that from the original, but... <laughs> uh, I'm seeing stars. Uh, oh god. <laughs> but uh, it's uh, I like it a lot. I'm having a good time with it. It is that weird thing where I I'm like four and a half, five hours in here. Yeah. Um, and I'm nearing the end. Okay, you little little espers, get out of here. God, dang it! Really? I keep the ah! Why am I blowing it? All right. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Look, this could be better. This could be better. I'm not gonna lie uh, to you. Me melee, dude, melee. Oh, oh yeah, you're please. right. Look at that. Hey, thing. I'll Thank fight. you. God, thank you. Yeah, no worries, man. I was seeing I was seeing death right there. It was uh, Jermaine is personally upset with you because his question did not make the show. Oh, what's the question now? Uh, I don't know. Let's it's here, Jermaine. Yeah, but anyways, uh, Resident Evil 3. Um, I'm like two-thirds of the way through and just realized, like, oh, I haven't really done a puzzle yet. Like, it is shocking how much they've stripped that stuff out, which I should oh, be all wow. right with. But it just, you don't really get to soak in things. So I'm really enjoying it, and I think people are going to be really nitpicky about it. But overall, it is, from my assessment, 70% as good as the Resident Evil 2 remake. Hmm. So if you want more of that, but not mm. quite at that caliber, Resident Evil 3 is, uh, is the way to go. Uh, it's hard not to be disappointed by, by hearing that. I mean, yeah, it's we're still really at fun. We're looking today, and it's really across the board. So That's kind of weird. Thing. Yeah, it's a it's a tough one to review, I'm sure. Um, yeah. Like, Ben Reeves at, at Game Informer loved it, um, but a lot of people were like, ah, the Nemesis stuff isn't as great as it could be, and it's like, it is pretty set pc but during those set pieces, like, I'm s and bricks. Like, it is intense as hell, so. Are you fully stocked by any chance, Ben? I think so. Uh, not okay, either. You... Might be coming up on a boss fighter. Okay, I was born ready. Okay. Whew. I'm sorry, I'm bored ready. I'm so bored, I'm ready for a boss fight. So, Rosal so, didn't survive. I, it's unclear. <laughs> oh. Something inside you wants out. 
This Mexican food I had for lunch, it's right, fellas? Just so very familiar. Benny, need to be quiet right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Vincent. Show me your rage. This I, is... I yeah. like how he's trying... Sorry. Let the killing begin! <laughs> yes, go ahead, Randy. Oh my god in heaven! Okay. He's one one line away from challenging you to do it your pulling contest, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like he, he's trying to appeal to just like, ooh, you're a conflicted human. And it's just like, this guy has lived through so much. Like, the idea that Azul is going to be the one to be like, like, get that moment of Vincent of just like, yeah, you're right. I should join the dark side. <laughs> I've never been on a spooky elevator with a guy with blue hair before. Oh, my God. Maybe I should join the dark side with that kind of damage he's dealing. God dang. Okay, that's really yeah, packing a wall. Like, yeah. God, that's a lot. Ain't that a lot? No, it what is that a lot? It is a lot. Yep. Are these item uh, canisters? Why don't you go ahead and equip fire? It's probably going to be the most effective against him. It's like a. Yeah, do you have a water type Pokemon you can bust out? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, okay, so let's go for. Fire Materia, please. Love it. Those things explode at all too? Or um, around the map or is it just there for show? That's a good question. Let's go ahead and go nuts and use this. Ooh, maybe that was overkill. Um I don't think they explode. Doesn't look like it. Those little little nubbins. They are right. lowering though. What are they really? Aren't they? Hey, no. welcome smokebomb.exe he says finally gets to catch a min max live later. Oh, hello. Thank you, Smoke Bomb. Thank you for joining us. Um, this one's for you, Smoke Bomb. No matter how this boss fight ends, it's for you. Okay. Uh, Scorch is wondering if I miss playing. Uh, sometimes yes, and sometimes no. When I'm playing well, do you miss playing? <laughs> oh my god. Which is all the time. <laughs> That's uh, true. This is a dilly of a wicket. Do I use this? I mean, I have two limit Limber breaks. Burger? Yeah, so, oh, yes, absolutely, you should. Just yeah. go nuts? Oh, yeah, because it's like low health, too. It, re it regenerates you, so. Yep, yep. Slap okay. him around. Slap him something fierce. Oh, I'm freaking out, Rosso! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, nice. Oh, you're wrong. just, yeah, murdering him. Okay. Why didn't I do this to begin with? I don't know. It I'm is gonna... nice to get the healing effect, though, too. It's oh, yeah, to use. Yeah. You just took out, like, 60% of his health? I know. Yeah, that was solid. Thank you. Just one more chance. One more chance. This system, it's... It's trying. God damn it, this is frustrating. Yeah, that's... that's just... <laughs> that looks and feels weird. Gets you super strong, but yet you're just, like, a rag doll too, at the same time. It's... Yeah. It's, a, it's an odd thing. And that's a boss fight in Dirge of Cerberus for Final Fantasy VII coming this fall. <laughs> I, don't think he's, I don't think he's done, man. This is too how easy. a battle should be. I think he's just getting started. Don't you think so? I hope not. I haven't even seen his final form yet. I was going to say maybe Kate will come save us, but he died, strength. I guess. Oh, no. Feel the There's another one coming. Azul, the oh, no. Guys, that was my everything. I, I gave it my all. <laughs> I like he just standing there like a dope pointing a gun at him. <laughs> Don't make me shoot. Hold on, I want to see where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> Move, you dingleberry! <laughs> Great, oh, perfect wow. time. Let's turn back. Perfect timing. What do now, you think? Now, hang on. The plump says that... Do I have this right? Final Fantasy VII Remake came out today in Australia? It uh, seems like it broke street date a couple places. Yeah, there's been some hot leaks going around. Oh, uh-oh. Yeah, not so great. Um, yeah, Twitter account. Mm-hmm. 
Do you guys think I should just whip out that limit breaker again? Not until uh, you're low health. Okay. Yeah. Great well, point. so it looked like um. <laughs> Great. My favorite type of boss fight. I literally just did this last night in Resident Evil 3 as well. <laughs> the stupid rotator on the pillar boss fight. <laughs> um, Excuse me, stupid? I'm sorry. It's my favorite thing. It reminds me of Thank being you. a toddler and having fun. All right. Little Thank blast you. of fire. Did that do anything? Uh, 6% approximately. Maybe 4. I, I would say 1. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> like I was trying to be generous, all right? <laughs> Ooh, look at this. Hang on. Is that not anything? See, something's happening to those. Yeah. What's going on? Um, I gotta excuse myself. We'll be back in two minutes. Okay. Everybody puts their pants sometimes. This guy. Um, all right. I guess I'll use an item, or should I just use limb breaker right now? Tough call. Um. Hmm. I mean, I, I don't. I, don't know, I guess you'd go for the big guns and see how much damage you could do with it. Yeah, because honestly, if I'm doing my materia blast, which is a significant chunk, and that does a toenail up there. Like, mm -hmm. I need something, and I have the money right now anyway. So, let's get nuts! Didn't see this coming, did you, you maniac? All right, great. That's pretty good damage. Here. That's fantastic. Oh, yeah. That's solid. Okay, I if didn't... I could just dodge his stupid. I mean. Oh, no! Ooh. Ooh, I didn't know you could die in that form, even. I didn't know either. Okay, well, it saved right before this, I do believe. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Let's go ahead and add... I mean, I got a lot of gill. I think I'll just keep it as XP. Uh, Maybe that's You could upgrade your guns, too. I, I don't know. That's well, a tough call. It was a mistake, but you know what? It happens to everybody. Well, well, well. Yeah. Look who showed his face around here. If it isn't Puppy Palooza. Oh, Puppy Palooza. You got <laughs> some nerve, puppy. <laughs> One sick puppy, if you ask me. <laughs> God so, dang. Rosa, Almost done, he says. Almost done. You can taste the credits, he says. There's nowhere to run. All right, so should I just do the exact same strategy here? Although... Do you think you can beat this guy without using the uh, limit breaks? That's a good question. Let's, let's try. Oh, yeah. It certainly seems like I can. So, yeah, two two for the next phase would be really nice. Yeah, for sure. I mean, look at this chump. All right. I need you. I know you're on the weird Discord delay, but I need you to be my eyes and tell me when to jump over the Mario uh, shockwave. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> well, God damn it. I don't, know, I don't know if I can be that quick. I'm... Can you keep the swearing to a moment, please? <laughs> oh, family stream. Well, nothing family about the way Neo Azul is effing me on this elevator. You're uh, you're soon to reach the bottom, so don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, can I get on the elevator? That's my impersonation of another character in this world trying to get on this elevator. Uh, Dr. Chug Butt Mud uh, is wondering. <laughs> Do you think Azul will be one of the characters that they add to the Final Fantasy VII Remake? I actually, I've been playing the remake, and uh, I didn't want to spoil anything, but he's a huge part of it. You play as Azul now, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah, weirdly enough, though, they just had to rename him with Perps, which I thought was weird. Well, they gotta shake it up, you know? They don't want people getting too comfortable with any Final Fantasy localization. Okay. You're right. Treading in the zone of uncomfort right now of a third health. <laughs> yep. I mean, do I use my high potion at this point though? Tell you what, this is a case you, you for red. Could. High potion is uh is, is a measly five hundred, right? Uh, I think so. Red could yeah. be Ooh. one or a thousand. Ooh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Good pop. You know, I wonder if I can cheese this guy, because his gun is like down to the right. And look at this. If I just stay <laughs> Directly. He's gonna hit you at the ground pound at some point. Yeah, he just has to be cognizant of that. That's not too bad. Look at that. If anyone wants um, to copy these moves for their streams at home, <laughs> no problem. Are oh, you playing along with us here? <laughs> yeah, impromptu game club. <laughs> Look at this. 
At this point, can this be considered a deepest dive into the Dirt of Cerberus? I think so. It's I the... can say that it's probably the deepest dive of the game. <laughs> The Dirge's dive. All right, here we go. Go to oh, hell! Uncle Longfellow is heaping praise on you right now. Really? Mm -hmm. Hey, is there a this aunt? Is Long I don't know. Thank you, Uncle <laughs> Longfellow. <laughs> don't you think? Hey, so? Betty, you don't okay, man? No, I told you I've had a stressful day. I'm melting down. <laughs> <laughs> this is my time to relax. <laughs> Uh, we recorded our Animal Crossing Game Club. That was fun. Oh, awesome. I, I Here's the thing. I, I, I'm i scared about getting just like a whole bunch of spoilers in the Game Club. For Animal Crossing? Yeah. I don't know if those, I don't know if those exist, man. Um, I feel like they do. Like just things that like you can do and... Uh, like I, I went to another person's island and I, I found out a whole bunch of stuff you can get. I remember thinking to myself... I wish I would have found that on myself. Yeah, but at least like hearing somebody talk about that stuff is better than seeing it. Because I've had that too, where it's like, oh, I don't want to know what the upgraded shop looks like and stuff like that. Exactly, you know? right, yeah. Did I miss that? Okay. God, this almost this this is three uh stages. This almost feels like a last boss. Well, two. Uh Fish Monkey ninety four said he's uh living in a one switch home sharing Animal Crossing with his girlfriend and it sucked. Um, yeah. I'm in the same one switch scenario, but it's, it's going pretty well actually. I, I like it. Is it? So, so what does that look like? Well, their island is a murder town. I know that. <laughs> I, I haven't, I haven't been yet. It's just like yeah, we, blood splatters we, we everywhere. <laughs> what is going on here? Listen, we had a COVID-19 outbreak in, in, uh, on my island, so we just we have to close down for a little bit. Is this guy melee only? Oh, maybe. So I need to, you guys know Dark Souls. Let me know when he's going to attack and when I have to, God, Ow. Uh, When he swings his tail. Sorry, it's delay. Tail. <sighs> oh, okay. Uh, if anybody yeah. is playing Animal Crossing, you have uh, approximately five hours and 20 minutes to catch fish before they disappear for uh, six months. Well, to get the, the long one, what's it called? The... Uh, string fish? Yes, one string fish. Um, I feel like there's another one leading too. God! Where, and where would I find this string fish? You got 417. Uh, in the highest pool of your of your island. Oh, okay. This... Okay, it seems like he does that almost on a timer bent, so... Uh... I mean, I can get, like, one attack in there. But you yep. know what? Hey. Oh, you got him. You got him. Arch Azul, arch of my foot, buddy. I think he's going to go for a final form. No way in hell. That's That has to be the final form right here. Yeah, he just turned his back. Blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up. No. Oh, no! No, this is cutscene stuff. Do you think? Who's yes. gonna save him, Cloud? Uh, Uncle Longfellow thinks the Sturgeon is leaving too. I, I don't have either of those. Oh no. Get cracking. You know what's uh, an interesting fact about the Sturgeon? Ooh, look at this. See ya, buddy. We got you seeing Black and Azul. Um, these jokes aren't permanent. We can cut these out of the stream <laughs> at any moment. Um, but the sturgeon, apparently one of the first animals on planet Earth, or the first animals, the way it was explained to me in a museum, that developed bones. It's a, essentially like a living dinosaur at this point. It's crazy. Yeah. You can pet them in Duluth, Minnesota, at the aquarium. Oh. That's Vincent's gun? <laughs> that he stabbed somebody? <laughs> it's like the size that, of a his, fridge. Isn't that his gun? That's, that's Azul's yes, gun. That was Azul's oh, big, okay, big he grabbed it from him. 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 Thank yeah. you. Very obvious. Then I... <laughs> see, he has a dark side. Very okay. well. I'll see you again, Vincent, in hell. Cool. <laughs> Final Fantasy Hell. Uh, Busted Vinyl says he's going string fish hunting tonight. Uh, I had horrible luck on my own island, but I had good luck on uh, Nook Miles Island that had a waterfall in it. Oh, just interesting. A, just a heads up. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. String fishing? That's... Yeah, it's a fish that's leaving tonight. Oh. So that is now, if you're not hellbent on like. Intriguing. 
finishing your museum within a year, you don't got to worry too much about it, Ren. Right. Perhaps I Which is like, oh, it'd be nice eventually, but I'm not, like, frantically trying to complete that thing. Uh, it's in my DNA. I have to do it when they're there. Oh, I really? cannot rest. I cannot rest until I have those. <laughs> yeah, Grant, Anna. I am going to need you to send me a text with those names. Sure thing, man. <laughs> just, uh, actually, could you just write it out um, and so then sorry. just slip it on a piece of paper under Ronnie's door? Just a list I mean, of names. You can. Do you have it taped like from the inside to keep the COVID out, or can I slip something underneath there still? You can slip something underneath. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh no, he wears a suit in Thank the tank. <laughs> Just a little longer. He's comfortable with. Then I can let you out. Please don't take off my suit when you put me in the tank. A week from walking. With me lately. <laughs> All this walking. <laughs> Maybe I've been working too hard. I wish she was cooler. Ah. Yeah. I thought I heard a rat down here. And I wish he had a different what voice. Do you think you're doing with my oh, he seems pretty irresistible. Sir. I understand why Lucretia's into him. <laughs> Get out of my lab! Silence! I'm the Just one. Show his face. We know it's Hojo. <laughs> Go on a date with me. <laughs> we could eat our lunch in front of the uh, tank and other date ideas. Uh, 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 Omega? What's your favorite chaos? color? <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> Another experiment. <laughs> You're using this fine specimen to finish your thesis, aren't you, Doctor? So Lucretia no, experimented on him? Am I? Once a scientist, always a scientist, I must say. You don't have to say that. How happy this fellow must be, helping his beloved, even after he's begun rotting away. <laughs> <laughs> He's irresistible. <laughs> what? No. This is no experiment. What a fragile person. It's How dare you? It's my love. Okay, it, I'm not out of my mind, right? Like Hojo and Lucretia were an item. That's correct. Those yeah. two there, <laughs> just to be clear. <laughs> you didn't pick up on the chemistry, huh? <laughs> well, the chemistry that was happening there was in the lab. <laughs> You're on fire tonight, man. Hey, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it really helps when you lower your barrier for they don't got to be good. <laughs> uh, Jay Grizz is wondering if Hojo is the first incel. I think he is. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Correct. So point this pain is actually i heard john arbuckle was yep. the first incel. I heard that too. <laughs> a lot of people are talking about him so lucrezia was trying to get to omega or sorry chaos <laughs> yes i don't i don't know <laughs> okay <laughs> oh no more gameplay I was just thinking that elevator is finally ending. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, wait, I forgot something. Deep ground. <laughs> Shinra's dark secret. Three years of hell below. Now, a world of hell above. Vincent. You're talking to yourself, buddy. The path to darkness <laughs> opens once more. Close encounters. 
Go into the light, Vincent. How big is the shadow for that stringfish? Uh, the stringfish is a large size shadow. Okay. We're talking a whopper of a shadow. Uh, Christopher Zubin, no incel would Sun and Costa del Sol wearing a lab coat. That's true. <laughs> uh, that seems like something that they would do, doesn't it? <laughs> That's true, too. I don't know what to believe anymore. All right. We are we are jacked up and good to go with with money like this hell let's get let's get cooking here so uh okay two horsemen of the apocalypse apocalypse left then right yeah and puppy palooza says that they're blinking you'll miss them <laughs> 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 okay let's really i cannot believe this item limit thing it's just aggravating I was thinking about the boss fight that had the jukebox in it. Yeah. Like, if you make a game <laughs> where you're knowing that you're going to be hurt that badly, but you put an item machine in a boss fight, that's just that's just bad gameplay, man. Maybe just, like, this is the cheapest way to balance this boss fight. I, I, I bet you that is exactly it. Mm -hmm. This is lazy. Yeah, that could be. Um, lazy devs, is that what you're saying, right? Big time. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to upgrade the pistol because you only live it. once. Um, and then, so the Cerberus, which is my baby. So I guess we haven't purchased any of these upgrades, like choosing a path for it. Did we really just? No, yeah. Last time that we were doing this, we I thought, thought you did. like. I thought I did too. I, well, we talked about it, but we didn't actually make a choice. Are you sure? Is this just something I'm forgetting to equip? I don't think, I don't think this is an equip scenario. I think it's a. It's choose upgrade. a path. Okay. So could be wrong. Okay, so... so Cerberus. Cerberus is the uh, sniper, right? No. It's the pistol. Yeah. Oh, that's the... Oh, I'm sorry. No, um, Cerberus is the machine gun. What? <laughs> <laughs> we all choose different things. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the machine gun. Doesn't it say handgun? When you were... Uh, it's high-powered handgun. Yeah, handgun. Oh. Well, I'll be... Have you upgraded the slingshot yet? What happened to that one? <laughs> okay, so increase the rounds or firing rate. I think rate of fire is the way to go. I'm just going to do it right now. Yeah, let's do it. Ah! Ah! Oh, no, decisions! Oh, no. Petri petrifying. <laughs> what have so I wrought? Did you see that? Did you see the S Cerberus? Go back. Go back. Go back. You can't S somebody Cerberus. Yeah. So oh. hang on. Let's just see what a significantly improved firing rate is. Sweet. Okay, so that's, I bet you that's like the end. Yeah, I guess so. Grant, can you double check what the, what, which guns are which? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> now I'm man. very worried. But like, I basically <laughs> use all of them, so whatever. I think you did the machine gun last time because it already had like the, the symbol next to it. Ah. Look at this. This is cool. Underneath, yeah. Underneath the Midgar. Um... This feels different. Yeah, this feels climactic. Yes, these, these Cerberus is your handgun. The Griffin is the machine gun, and the Hydra is the uh, sniper rifle. Okay, and now Ronnie, I need you to commit that to memory, please. Yep. Um, Hydra's the handgun. Yes. The Griffin is the We're shotgun. Looking at... Killing it. <laughs> shotgun. And the Hydra is the sniper. Unbelievable. Um, one for one for three. That's impressive. <laughs> Hang on. Was there? Didn't I unequip that defense item for the sake of the materia? Ma for materia, yes. I don't know how I Which, feel about that. Honestly, the materia seems like the stronger of the choice. I mean, we don't yeah. really have a number for how much the defense is helped by that, though. Uh, I think you had it on for portions of the first big bad yeah. uh, boss fight. Uh, she was throwing you around the room and like mopping up the. Mopping up the stains on the floor with you? Well. Oh, yeah. All right, Grant. You're painting a very specific picture. <laughs> okay, so I guess I have it for the sniper on. So let's just remember that. Okay. Let's remember, try and measure that difference. Um, analytically. Like everything in Dirge. Uh, busted Vinyls is wondering if anybody has played the DLC for Control yet. Yes. I have not. I love that base game, though. That was so much fun. Yeah, it's very good. Ronnie, have you played that one yet? No, no, I haven't. Hmm. I think I've reminded him approximately 1,200 times that I have it just sitting at my house waiting for him to come grab. 
Listen, what do you want me to do? I got Warzone, <laughs> I got Animal Crossing, I don't know what to do. Keep naming them. You got it. Doom 2016, <laughs> I don't know, man. Everything. <laughs> Look, there's like a whole city down here. This is crazy. Um, but I just played the first hour of that DLC, and uh, it seems cool. I know Kyle liked it, um, so, you know. You have at it. <laughs> uh, Raisin B Man says he's respecting social distancing. Uh, this has been going on much longer than COVID, I'm afraid. Convenient excuse now. Mm -hmm. I just knew I had a gut feeling that I should not touch control. <laughs> 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 You're gonna feel like such a fool when you play it and like it. Oh yeah, no, I, I, I know I'm gonna like it. Just like Uncharted 4. Whenever you get around to that one, Ryan. Right? Yeah, no, I, I, I love Nathan Drake, so. That's free and, <laughs> free in exactly one week. That game is that game is wonderful. Yeah, it's very good. Even if you don't care about Nathan Drake, which I understand is your your big laugh line at your one man show. Uh, <laughs> the uh, But like I just the production value is, is just unbelievable. Yeah, no, I, I I've heard uh, many things that say that there's no way that you can't like this game, essentially. It's true. Um, mm -hmm. and I will I will like it. Great. Well, any day now. And Lazarus Orange wants me to slide control through your mail slot. I will wrap that sucker up in Clorox wipes like it's Christmas and slide it right through there, man. Deal. Hmm. Oh my. How um, meticulous are you all being with germs when it comes to like giving people items? Because um, I was giving Rory, our friend, an item today, and I was like, do I like hose this off? Or do I just hand it to him and assume he's going to hose it off? It was a sandwich. <laughs> uh, sanitizer sandwich or just a regular one? Uh, very regular. Was it a melt or just like a regular sandwich? It was a regular sandwich! <laughs> I don't know what you're doing giving Rory a regular sandwich. <laughs> Seems like a melt kind of guy. Yeah. He said he's a melt kind of guy. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> He complained a lot, but you know what? At the end of the day, <laughs> oh, <laughs> in the bone. <laughs> oh, I don't got the card. Uh, key, do yeah, I? no, sanitize any sandwiches that you give the people. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, Grant, do you remember that? <laughs> remember that news radio where uh, Phil is in love with the sandwiches from the vending machine? It's like his favorite snack, and they're trying to haul away the vending machine, and he won't let him take it, and he keeps biting uh, into the sandwiches, and it makes like this hard crunch every time he bites into the sandwich. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's ringing more bells now. Okay. It's very vivid. The the part that stands out with me the most in any scene in that show is uh, when he tries to quit smoking and Dave tries to quit drinking coffee. Yeah, it's an early one, yeah. I, I love that one so much. And he's That's like, an early one? My gosh. Yeah, I think so, yeah. And he's they like, hit their stride very early. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I've made <laughs> some sort of small a... belt out of these nicotine patches. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he comes back from the smoking chair with his hair frazzled. Dude, just... That's very good. Oh. Yeah. And he said, I coughed up something that looks like escargot this morning. <laughs> uh Dr. Chug Buttmud says, yeah. no smoking slash coffee is episode three, season one. My yeah, God. look at that. Love you, wow. Buttmud. Um, uh, okay, well, we got rid of the, oh, not quite. Oh, this thing, one of them has to have the key, right? These guys are such little chumps. <laughs> <laughs> hey. You just got Vincent to do. All right. Well, I guess uh, when in Rome. Here we go. It's a pro move there. Did you like that? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I haven't played a Souls game, but I feel like I could with those kinds of moves. You absolutely could. No, I could. Okay. Hey. All right, you know what? I take it back. You're not chumps at all. Um, you're noble warriors. Um, oh, God. Well, there you go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you're dangerously close to death. Thank you. Uh, I'll just make a potion. 
uh, Matt Paxton just yeah. uh, entered, and he says, okay, just got here. Uh, what important story did I miss? Great question, so, Matt uh, Paxton. Take it away, Matt. You you know as well as we do. <laughs> uh, He's God. asking us. Azul got uh, smacked around. He's dead. Uh, he said Vincent was more dark than he realized, I think. Yeah, uh, so we're still underneath the Shinner headquarters here. We're in deep ground. Their secret facility operation here where they're building the Spiets. Stop me when I'm wrong. Um, and then... Uh, yeah, we fought Azul, who's the big blue guy, and uh, Vincent shoved a gun through him. Had to have been there, Paxton. Had to have been there, dude. Uh, <laughs> no, he did. He did transform. Yes, he turned into uh, basically like a behemoth-looking thing, and Vincent yeah. said, "Not right now, you dude." And then uh, shoved a gun through him. Yeah. Oh, and then um, we saw Hojo fall in love with Lucretia. And Ronnie, I thought he was kind of a cold-hearted SOB, but uh, he yeah. shed a tear because he's like, the love is real. Love yeah, does I just, exist. I just thought he was—he had a warm personality. <laughs> uh, it, it just shone through at that at that time, and his love for Lucrezia um, was just—it <laughs> was there. It was there. It was so there. The performance was, was, was effective. Yeah, and then we looked up behind-the-scenes footage, and the actors. Um, oh my god. You got to see him performing that scene, and then afterwards, when they stopped recording, the actors said, I felt it. My god, I yeah. really felt it. Um, and then he proposed. Yeah. Nuts. And then, actually, I proposed to the game and put the game disc on my finger, Matt Paxton, and uh, it didn't really fit, so I really had to shove it on there, which is why my finger's bleeding and why I'm playing like dog ass right now. <laughs> and and the, somehow the disc actually said no. Um, <laughs> I don't want to settle. <laughs> <laughs> so we're still trying to figure that one out. <laughs> yeah. What is this? Honky Dong? What's going on here? <laughs> Come on, game. I think that's what the guy just screamed before he threw those barrels down as Honky Dong. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Did guy just guy just stole your crap. Oh my god, get him, Ben. Get him. Do you think yeah. this is secretly going to be Yuffie? Because that is an absurd move to put in a game. Of all my years of gaming, I have never seen something quite as outrageous. I think you lost him. I think it's I, over. I, I also just... think that you you got that right. I think that was a Yuffie move. Do you think it's going to be Yuffie? I do. God, it, I hope they're that smart. And then we'll have to take back every mean thing we said about this game. <laughs> oh. Old uh, May and Egg May Whitman herself. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> Thank you for... <laughs> I had to have been there. Um, oh, that gun is depleted. Here we go, buddy. Get about half health. Thank you. Uh, gonna get lower before it gets better. All right. Can they shoot me? Where can I cheese these guys? What do you mean nowhere? Oh no. <laughs> I cannot believe. Oh, hang on. This is the. Now it looks spot. like it looks like Marvel uh, just jumped in. He says, "I just got here. Never seen a minute of anything Final Fantasy related." This is it. This is the clip you need to see. I'm starting, and he says, "I'm starting to think this might be a hard screen to hop into." Uh, I I disagree. I don't think you're missing very much of anything right now. Well, yeah, you get the idea. This is this is as good as it gets, baby. <laughs> Bunch of crotch shots on men that don't know what's going on. <laughs> Hang on a second. That is the silliest thing. Okay. I still... God, I hope that's Yuffie. Because that was the most infuriating thing I've ever seen in the game. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's like my only pleasure in playing the Dirge is having those little items pop out. Grant, I was thinking about um, the way I've been playing versus the way you've been playing. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like we did you a disservice by not paying attention to the game while you were playing. The, mainly on my part. I felt like you were you were going through the motions and and I just assumed it was on autopilot and it wasn't, man. You were trying hard, so thank you. Oh, I always try hard. 
A little too hard sometimes, actually. See, that's that's the thing that your gameplay does, because it's the same thing when we play Warzone. Like, Ben and I tried to play Warzone without you, and it was a, a mess. I mean, we, we couldn't we couldn't do anything. <laughs> I mean, we genuinely couldn't get out of the opening menu. Uh, Controls somehow went to invert. It was just wild. Yeah. I was the gas somehow. I I don't know how we got there. <laughs> you played the gas well, though. I lost. You know, sometimes <laughs> I would like to switch it off sometimes, but I I don't know. I uh, if I load into a game, I just I just want to win. I can't help myself. I think your brain just goes into that mode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oof! This is a slaughter. You want to watch my health there? Half health right now. Third health. God dang. Really? What is this crap? Some sort of shield? These look like they want lightning, desperately. Mm, I think you want lightning, and I don't want to give it to you. <laughs> Knew it. Nice. Oh, look at this. Look at this. All right. Oh, the bounty. This is going to be good, unless the jackal comes back. Right. Now you, you could use an, an ether. Yep. Mm -hmm. Really, game? Really? <sighs> really, so, you can't cheese the game. <laughs> <laughs> Not if you're gonna let me cheat like an idiot. <laughs> um, I guess I'll do that. Uh, uh. All right, I will get what I want. Hello? Oh, that's not the right weapon. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. He's already dead. He's already dead. <laughs> yeah, that was the first time it felt like murder. <laughs> Tifa calls. Vincent, are you murdering people? <laughs> really? What is this? Wow. That was outrageous. Oh, he had the card key. <laughs> He's using it as a shield. <laughs> okay. Yes, that's what I like to see. Oh, I should have bought more limit breakers. That was stupid not to do that. I don't know if you can. I you think, have to find them, don't you? I, I think so. you. Hmm. I think you might be wrong because I think. Or am I thinking of Phoenix Downs? Yeah, Phoenix Downs you can buy, and then okay. you. Yeah, and then you found one, and you got you got very angry. Yeah, and then I just started calling out people in the chat and just cursing their families. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, here's. Yeah, and you here. you knew. Like some of the families by name too, sisters, moms. <laughs> yeah, well, I do my research on our audience. It's basic <laughs> Patreon analytics. Most people were impressed. <laughs> One person was in tears, but they understood oh, it was yeah. for the greater good. What is this crap? I used the card key to get here. <laughs> Am Tifa, I? what's up with this door? <laughs> also, my uh. accent's changed, Tifa. <laughs> The hell? I don't know. It's got the blue light above it, like it should open. That's weird. Yeah. Okay. So I guess I gotta go over across the way. Yeah, that was really odd. Also, I am not doing great on ammo. <gasps> Is this where I came from? This seems like where I came from. It would be kind of cool if Vincent ha Vincent's hair. It's getting just a little bit longer as the game progressed. Yeah. It certainly feels like our lives are flashing before our eyes are playing this game. Uh, the only thing that's grown is his toes. They've got at least seven <laughs> inches longer. <laughs> uh, um, we, got a, we got a bug here, boys? Because I cannot imagine what no, else. No, no bug. A bug boy? Well, hang on. Look at this crap. I can't even go through that, this door. Uh, it's a spinning light there. It's nothing. What the hell's happening? This is... Hang on. Is this where I'm supposed to be going? Didn't I come from here? Um. Looks like no. This is... Wait, oh. so they just want me to turn around? What the oh, hell's like going it. on with this? Punch your skeleton! 
The vampires! <laughs> Sir, Did we you guys see that? <gasps> He's a phantom! He's here, and he looks dumber than we expected, sir! <laughs> Anybody else? Uh, Post Like Penis says, God damn, what's up? <laughs> Nothing, Penis, what's up with you? All right, where do you see these guys now? Oh, I see you, you coward. Come out and fight me like a man! <laughs> Got him petrified. Right through the crack. Oh, oh, oh! Really, game? <laughs> this is such crap. Oh! Alright, game, you're alright with me now. Alright, my cheese does work! <laughs> I need that sweet taste of cheese. Get that dirge cheese. Okay. It's honestly very satisfying. All right. Um, well, oh, can't stand for this. I guess I don't even need that, do I? Maybe I do. All right. Now, where do you want me? Down the ladder, you say? Or is that up the ladder? This feels right. This is the room I was just in, right? Or is this really different? Uh, this. Oh, I mean... what? Did you see that you're... shenanigan? You're on the right track here. Oh, that's just tomfoolery. You can't I need to reload them. your weapons. Yep, thank you. Get about a third health, too. Thank you. Thank you, team. <laughs> you're both uh, the man in the chair from Spider Man Homecoming. Huh? Uh, I don't I don't know if I've seen that yet. Oh really? Very good. Uh Ronnie, I know I was trying to drag you through the Marvel universe at some point. Um Yes. <laughs> I still would love to watch Thor Ragnarok with you, which I think you would like a lot. Yes, yes. <laughs> and I feel like let's just go ahead and jump to uh Infinity War and Endgame. God, that was Yes, stupid. yes, yes. Okay, great. <laughs> cool. So you wanna come over tomorrow? Yes. <laughs> great, thanks. <laughs> Uh, of course that's not a door. In what game would that be a door? Not this one. It's got a red light above it, man. That's a good hey man, that's, that's, that's Metal Gear 101 here. I love Metal Gear 101. Also, Wait a second. on that note... Uh, oh boy, I just realized that this, these, were, these are the same, like, doors that were in um, uh, the Shinra headquarters. Oh, really? With the same yeah, like style. Yeah, and then on they have the, the red light above, and when it when it's green, they'll open. Oh sure. Yeah, I feel like I've heard people complain about Shinra headquarters in seven, but like I just replayed it not too long ago, and like it's not bad at all. It's not like a crazy puzzle or anything. That mm -mm. It, it, it's a, it's a little bit of a slog first time through. I think. You think so? Yeah, I mean like going from. Um, oh man, yeah. There's a lot that you you do in that. I mean like, if you go up the stairs, you sit there for twelve and a half minutes going upstairs, and then you. Do your little mini game where you uh, uh, hide from the guards. Yeah. 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 yeah hide from look. The guards, and then you go through all the like the five different levels that all have kind of a different little little spiel. Yeah. Schnick. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying that um, I will have no reason to complain once we stream that probably next week. Uh, so if yeah. I complain once, it's a big chunk. call me an idiot. Call me the worst names you can in the chat, please. Uh, and go now. <laughs> <laughs> Game on, boys. What is oh, this? Oh, no. Wait, they're like shooting through the floor? Is that what's happening here? Yes. <laughs> Not if I dodge. But it's not like a timing thing. What are you doing, game? I think they just wanted uh, to show off their lighting. Being cool? Yeah. Ah, yeah. I think you're expecting too much from, from game right now. <laughs> Leave game B. <laughs> <laughs> game good. 
Good game. <laughs> game, game fine. Interactable, good, yes? <laughs> Cars, yeah. <laughs> Finally, the Vincent Mobile's in, in action. Oh my god, it's an on-rail shooter coming up. Oh no. No. Please get me off of this train we're on. Oh. Hey, don't get me off this train. What is this, control? What's happening here? Shut, shut up. Oh, sorry. Spoilers for control. I guess this is cool. Well, it was. Pursuers, huh? Yeah. yeah. Some would say that's behind a man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, they're shaking up gameplay. Yep, you're at about half health. Thank you. Just the way I like it. Am I supposed to blow this car up? <laughs> Matt Paxson says that he loved this scene in Temple of Doom. <laughs> yeah. So the short round, I've got uh, three rounds left. I don't know. I'm going to take hey, a nap can, here, we guys. Can, we can cut early. Yes. <laughs> 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 This is a terrible Disneyland ride. By the way, Ben, have you ever uh, been to Disneyland? Yeah, I um, I get to pull the cool card because the only Disneyland I've been to is uh, Disneyland Tokyo. Didn't we talk about it on one of these things? Oh. Ah! Uh, not with me. Oh, uh, yeah, it was, it was super fun. I went there on the Sekiro cover story trip when I was in Tokyo. So it was Surreal and Dan Tack and I, and it was like around Christmas time, and so... It was awesome taking, going on like star tours and stuff when C-3PO yeah. speaking Japanese. Like, C-3PO deaths. Like, it's very fun. Ah, cool. Oh, oh, hey. I know you. Um, and uh, my biggest takeaway was... Oh, man. Help me out. What are the rides? What's the roller coaster? The oh, boy, you're the passing. By wrong, wrong crowd, man, man. Yeah. Hey, chat, what's the roller coaster where you can't see anything? Oh, Jesus. Um, help me out. The Hey, hey. The is, Disneyland... that the, is that the Winnie the Pooh dungeon simulator? <laughs> no, although the Winnie <laughs> the Pooh ride was awesome there. Yeah, I um, remember you losing your mind over that yes. animatronic thing. You, yes, it was like multiple paths and stuff. Space Mountain. Yes, Space Mountain. It was just like one of those classic things of like, oh, it's like Tower of Terror or something. It's just a name you hear all the time, but like that ride genuinely is awesome and, and holds up incredibly well. Oh, cool. It's just like pitch black roller coaster, but you're inside Space Mountain and it's just this windy path and like you can't see the track. You don't know where you're at or what's going on. And it's like, how is this winding path still going inside one building? Like I saw the building from the outside. It doesn't seem that big, but it just seems like you're spiral spiraling around and doing flips forever in there. It's just incredible. And it's old. It's uh, like a classic ride, too. Is it kind of akin to, like, uh, the Harry Potter ride at Universal, where it, where you're all indoors and it winds for, like, forever? Yeah, I guess so. But imagine it's pitch black, except there's, like, stars uh, on the ceiling and stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then uh, and then more windy. More and, windy. Huh? And, and more fun, too. They didn't have any of that Harry Potter crap there, so... <laughs> I'm sorry, it's... I know, it's some people's Star Wars. Ah, that ride did a number on my stomach. Oh, <laughs> really? Ours, yeah. ours stopped twice. Uh, like, oh, it boy. broke down twice. It was absurd. Like, I... Prior to Universal, I don't think I'd ever felt a twinge of sickness from a ride. Really? Uh, those... Yeah, those 3D glasses ones, they just <laughs> destroyed my world. That is true. Like, even The Simpsons was wrong, which I thought was fun. Like, eventually, I just, like, looked down at the floor. Yep, that was the last one that we went on. And by that time, I was just in a maintained status looking at the floor, like you said. Don't pass out. <laughs> like deep cut. Good die out there. <laughs> okay. I, uh, it, that, that conversation just made me realize I've not been on any, like, big amusement park ride hmm. ever in my life. Uh, uh, does your mom count? are small scale, but they, they pack a lot in with, like, 3D type stuff. Right, that, that, that seems like it'd be a lot of fun. Like, I, I remember um, in the, oh, in that old uh, Idle Thumbs podcast, they would talk a lot about uh, Disney World, I yeah. want to say. Disneyland, and yeah. Disneyland. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Disneyland. And uh, um, just hearing them talk about, like, all the different rides and how cool they were, it's just like, man, I, 
done none of that. Yeah. Well, you ain't seen nothing yet. Speaking of rides, get a load of this cutscene. Coming up soon. You know what to do, Cerberus. What? Yeah. Hang on. Is he talking to his gun? The pep talk to himself. You know what to do, Cerberus? What is happening here? This is much stranger than I expected uh, for the, the end area. Thank you, thank you. And the alleged. A puppy palooza says that this actually is the credits. Mm. Yeah. And it has been for the past uh, six hours. <gasps> Sir, puppy palooza, we love you. Thank you for watching the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to give you crap, but Can't you promised you. us a sweet salvation and then you yanked it away. Can't believe you show your face around here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there a point to this? Uh, don't stand next to it at the point. Yeah. All right. I should probably buy some ammo for these guns because I am shockingly low. But although I spent all my money on ammo before, so I don't want to go nuts here. <laughs> yeah. Um, just buy. Oh, just buy a little. I mean, that seems like a decent amount. Oh, Lord, don't take me now. Oh, <laughs> I thought I was just jumping down. Wait. Is there something nefarious going on here? Am I just shooting this? Okay, that's not going to make a ramp. But what will make a ramp? Ah, of course. Ah, ah. Oh, look, he gets to play it as a cover shooter. It's just that I don't. Okay. Look at that. I told you guys material is the way to go. Might as well use a mega potion and grab that free one on the yeah, ground. Yeah, good call. Where is that pot shot coming from? Oh, I see you, buddy. Did you say hot shot or pot shot? Hot shot. Pot shot from a hot shot. Okay. Is there still another... Oh, buddy. Come on. Let's dance. No! <laughs> I loved him! Uh, Mega Potion, right? Yes, sir. Skeep. Great. Oh, really? You're just gonna do me like that? He's a lightning guy. Yeah, well, I can't use it. Oh, wrong weapon. God, that's frustrating, not being able to use that. Uh, unless you have the right weapon out. All right, well. Free ether, too? Yeah, we're giving it away. Did I pick that up? Okay, thank God. What's that behind the box? Great! Oh. Hey, My goodness. going at a business sale here for Shinra. Let's go for it. Do you think Shinra was a privately held company? No, publicly traded. Publicly traded. God damn. Come on now. This looks like the calm roof texture again. Do you think um do you think like after Shinra collapsed, somebody tried to um like restart it uh it seems like rufus did judging from advent children yeah one could say that <laughs> <laughs> hey you know what i did um since the last time we played yeah um i watched a youtube cut of crisis core oh the PSP yeah how game. Was that? it was great i really loved it it's like you can watch it wait <laughs> what are these hooligans what a terrible place to make me fight Okay, hang on. Nice. Good job. Thanks. Oh, wow. <laughs> that that really worked. Hello? No. Um, but, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Like, the writing was a little overblown. People are saying how well-written it was. And, like, there's great moments in it, but a lot of the dialogue is still kind of a 
you know, the recurring line is literally, um, use your honor, be a hero, Cloud. Okay, hang on a second. What kind of nonsense is going on here? Do I melee this uh, guy? Remind me, like, the, just the plot. Yes, I will after I get out of death chamber here. Um, so it's, you play as Zack, it's the PSP RPG, action RPG. Right. Um, and it's Zack back when he is working in Soldier with Sephiroth. Um, and then there are basically, <laughs> you know how there's Sephiroths after Sephiroth with Advent Children? Yeah. There are also Sephiroths before Sephiroth um, with, um, there's a guy named Genesis who's a member of Soldier, but then he starts spinning out. He basically does a Sephiroth arc of like, what have I become? My cells, the Genova cells. They've used Genova cells in me, I'm a freak. Um, and so he's kind of, he turns dark, and then there's also another person that they use Genova cells on called Angeal. Um, ah, see, okay, so that's, I, I was talking to you about this uh, a little while ago, and I, I saw just a fight between the three of them. Yeah. That they, were, that they were just, I think, kind of doing in a sort of a, like a friendly sparring kind of way. Yeah, they have like a... It was like really interesting. Yeah, yeah. Like there's a another scene where they're in that like VR simulation, and um, Sephiroth fights on the sister ray and ends up That's like the one that I saw. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. Okay, perfect. Yeah, and yeah, it's it's really cool. But uh, overall, like it's just it's a lot of fun stuff with Zach and Aerith and uh, their relationship. Like it turns out that Zach told her um, that she should sell flowers. <laughs> She's like, oh, good idea. I'm too dumb to realize it on my own. And then she also, like, it's and weird. that's a direct quote, right? Yes. <laughs> Basically, the writing for Aerith is really bad. Um, but also, it goes so far as to, Zach is like, I'm going to buy this ribbon and put it in your hair. Never take it out. And then also, he's like, next time I see you, I want you to be wearing pink. Never don't wear pink. He's like a weird controlling boyfriend, and Aerith is like, I love you, okay. And it's so, like, that's why she's wearing the pink dress, apparently, in Seven. <laughs> it's just like a lot of weird stuff like that. Um, but that, that, that sounds like that all sounds very weird. Yeah, but there's also fun stuff. Like I think Zach's as a character works really well. Like he's fun and kind of spunky, and it's just feels like he's the life of the party compared to Cloud. But even Cloud in that game, uh, he interacts with him quite a bit. Like it's kind of their origin story of how they the? fell in love, basically. <laughs> Zach and Cloud, and uh, Cloud's kind of sillier in it overall, but it's cool. Um, Cloud is okay. Hang on. Cloud is sillier in it. Um, I say sillier, but it's like a little more lighthearted. Like he's the rookie that's fighting uh, alongside you, and so you know, like Zach is like, "Oh, where are you from? Nibelheim, huh?" This is a very silly fight. But yeah. um, can you can you lightning these little suckers here since they're in water? Good idea. Game game that intuitive. You think so? But also melee is just a whopper. Oh god. Okay. You also picked up an item called a blast machine gun. I don't know what that was. Huh. Ooh. Uh, well, let's check it out. Um, anyways, but he's like, oh, you're from Nibelheim. I'm from Gangaga. Like, we're both country boys. And they just, like, keep joking oh, about how they're fun. both country boys and stuff. So that's fun. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see what that is, Grant. A low in power will knock over any hit by its fire. Not Should over I? Any hit. Did I stutter? Although low on power, <laughs> it will knock over any hit by its fire. Um, so it's an attachment for your machine gun? Yeah, I guess so. I don't think I want to use that, but is that foolish? Um, I don't know. It says low on power. I guess it depends on what utility you use your yeah. machine gun for. Well, just uh, trying to remind me that I have that. No matter what, don't forget. Got it. Um, I don't have the card. So what, oh, was, uh, oh. what was what was Zach and Zephyros like uh, <clears throat> friendship um, like in that? He was um, good question. They were friendly enough. It's very silly seeing like Sephiroth and Soldier, where he's still just wearing his clearly villain <laughs> uniform. You know, it's like I wonder where this right. is going. And so which, it's kind which of I like, also kind of like like seeing in Final Fantasy VII, where it's just like. He just sort of transcends any sort of uniform. They just like, well, just let him, you know. Yeah, he'll, just, he'll just do his thing. Whatever he wants. Uh, all right, here we go. Um, but it was a lot of, like, frustration because, like, pretty quick on, quickly, Sephiroth, you know, basically starts to figure out his path and so starts to be like, I need to figure out what, who my mother is, what is going on here. Um, and um, 
Meanwhile, Zack is just like, pay attention to the mission, Sephiroth. Like, come on, buddy. That type of thing. So they're, they're lighthearted, actually, in some moments, which is interesting. Well, this is the worst time to use this. Mm -hmm. um, but also, somebody brought it up in the the dirge before, but it's, it's fascinating that Loveless is a huge part of Crisis Core. No! Yeah, like, Genesis basically only quotes... That's why I brought it up. Yes. We were talking about that. They actually quote something in, in love. Yes. And so, um, this is silly. Um, but Genesis only speaks basically in loveless quotes. Ah. And so it becomes clear then that loveless is not like a modern play. It's basically like the Iliad or something. It's like an epic oh, poem. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, which is really odd or it's like shakespeare i guess is a better way to look at it right yeah oh of course there's elixir right there Are you kidding me uh let's see what else i got to mop up here um but uh yeah it's more loveless than you can imagine and they reveal that the ending of loveless has been destroyed and no one knows how the play ends no it's true i love it yeah but it's like the the it looks great uh there's like hd rips of it and stuff and so if you just want to absorb crisis core i recommend just watching like that yeah three hour uh youtube cut oh god and the ending is yeah, genuinely great will, actually. also the soundtrack is really good like it has a lot of like acoustic guitar work and stuff it's really cool and i hope we've sold you on crisis core today okay where is this guy i see you i know you're out there Oh, there you are. I haven't really commented on it, but this environment's cool. Like, underground city? Like... Yeah. Alright, well. Doesn't need to wow everybody. <laughs> ah, I was agreeing with you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wait. Where was the elixir? <gasps> Wasn't that over here? Did it disappear? Grant, were you paying attention? Oh, no. We've lost I, Grant. No. Hmm. God, that sucks. Yeah, maybe it does disappear. I wouldn't have used it otherwise. God, that's brutal. All right. They've been pretty generous with items lately. Yeah, that's Might true. Might be more. That's true. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Okay, maybe this is all right. Now, do you have ice material? I think I do, yeah. Yeah, you got blizzard somewhere. I just don't really like showing it off. Well, it looks like you have it. Oh, wait, never mind. What? I think that's electricity? Is I that thought electricity was yellow. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah it looks very right. blizzardy. Yeah, I guess. Okay, so on the pistol, I have blizzard materia. I think I had lightning on the pistol. <sighs> I don't know, you guys. Um, okay, here's the mission. Ah! Really? Get out of here. Get out of here, mini boss from Final Fantasy VII Remake. <laughs> Is that a thing? Am I doing something? Oh, you did. Oh, yeah. I think you did, man. Thank you for letting me know when things die in games. <laughs> I don't know what I do without you guys. Did I do it? I feel like you have an enemy to your right. Bottom right. Yeah. Well. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Okay. I thought you had a little, little crab boy. Let the record show he said, maybe I'm wrong after we saw there was something there. We can rewind it. <laughs> Could you check again, though? <sighs> Ronnie, how often do you think I'm being a dick? Um, that's, that's like, largely dependent on my mood. Right oh. now, it's zero, it, right now it's zero percent. Okay. But if you're being pissy, then it, you'd like send me a text later. Yeah, about like that was out of line. Yeah. yeah. Um, hey man, I'm off my antidepressants and I'm just a little bit more sensitive. <laughs> if I just search that phrase on my phone, our text history will go back 20 years. <laughs> and I'm off my antidepressants and you really struck a nerve with me today. Uh, can you zoom in with this thing? If you L2, can you... Uh... Uh, L2? No. Uh, like the way I do it for the other guns? No, that's what I'm yeah. doing now, just to like center it that little bit that it's doing. Okay. It's as good as we're getting. God, just hit me. <laughs> Can everything just run into me and blow up, please? Well, you could shoot them, but I don't know. This? 
All right. Let's dance. <laughs> and by dance, I mean you stand there and I shoot you. Uh, hey Ben, how many how many times are you are you trying to be a dick? Never. Never. I don't think so. Does anyone try to be a dick? I well, in you know, it's like oh, I'm trying to be a little stinker sometimes. Does that mean being a dick? Yeah, they're synonymous. Okay. Um, I don't know, six percent of the time. <laughs> okay, it's too much. <laughs> Dial it down. Which way do I go? Do you think? Just keep heading down. Hold. Oh, oh it's your handy dandy map then. I don't believe in the map, Grant. Okay. And I don't believe in you. All right. All right. Um. Well, the map. It says what it says. <laughs> what does it say? I guess go up here, huh? But this has got to be a thing over here, right? Is it already down here? Oh, no, of course. Alright, where are you, buddy? I know you're shooting something over here in a blind rage. Also, remind me that my health is insanely low. Yeah, you got 514. Yep, thank you. Where is this guy? <laughs> oh. Oh. There. Close. Okay. Um, I could use a key card. Ah! Mega potion? Um, yeah. Yeah. Man, that's still healing all the way. Now, hang on. What? Um, oh, I feel a little bit stupid. What? What is an X potion? Like, is that a thousand? Uh, X potion's everything. Full. Is yeah. it full? Yeah. Yeah. So th is, that must be the. That's the best of the best, huh? Except for an elixir. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. But yes, correct. Um, Grant, are you gonna play uh, Resident Evil Three? Uh, I'd say doubtful right out of the gates it seems like a good one to i mean it is a little bit on the shorter end and i haven't checked out resistance yet like the multiplayer but i can't imagine it's going to be mind-blowing um, yeah and so it's like it seems like a good one in that classic ronnie range of like once it's 20 bucks or 30 bucks on steam that seems cool yep yeah Perfect. It's, i'm waiting for uh death stranding to drop too i'll probably play that at some point oh interesting see that that's one that i i don't think i'm gonna play it really yeah Por qué? um yeah. I, I, it it sounds like when I was hearing people talk about the game, it it almost sounded like nobody actually finished it. It's it's a it's kind of a slog, and I I want to go back to it at some point, but it's one of those that I've just written off in my backlog. That like realistically, I'm not gonna, I'm yeah, not gonna but, find the time for that thing. Side note, question for you, Ben. There's yeah. some chatter in the chat about oh, no. um, the MW2 remaster. Yeah. Or remake. Mm -hmm. Do you know who oh, made yeah. it? Oh, no, I don't. I assumed it was like a raven or something, but I don't know. Jay Gris saying uh, Beanox. Oh, that seems could, very likely. That can make sense. Yeah, they do a lot of that support work. It's raven. They're working mostly uh, BR stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Jay Gris, that, that seems likely. Yeah, and I didn't hear anything about that until, well, jumping on Warzone today, and I saw this, like, hey, pre-order Modern Warfare 2 uh, campaign. Yeah, they just uh, they just revealed it. It leaked yesterday, but it's also been mm -hmm. rumored for a long time. Like it's been in the can for a long time. But hang on, I want to direct everybody's attention to the screen here. What the hell is this item? <laughs> <laughs> Should I use a potoin? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? A oh, dirty joke. Potoin going straight in the groin. What what the hell could that be? Do I use it before a, a save point? You think? Let's dance! So aren't these a finite item? Let me break. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say. It's a cavalier. It just felt like a boss. Oh, man. Uh, I'm just so smitten with Warzone right now. I don't really want to jump into um, Resident Evil at this point. Oh, yeah. Sure. It's just weird time for the Modern Warfare 2 campaign, though, because, yeah, it's like, let Warzone cool down a little bit. Like, well, I guess they can't let yeah. it go too far or else people 
we'll be playing the Black Ops reboot or whatever's coming out this fall, so. Really um, I, I, I just hope that they continue to uh, support Warzone in a, in a oh, meaningful yeah. way. I mean, with yeah. 50 million people have, having played it, like I think they're in it for a couple years at least, you know? Yeah, I think the, the free-to-play standalone thing really, really lends itself well to maintaining it beyond the life of, of just MW as well. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I'll support it with gun skins. I mean, I, I don't care. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sweet gun skins. Uh, Angerous Dude on YouTube, he says he doesn't like Final Fantasy, but he likes hanging out with Minmax. Thank you. That's very sweet. Hey. Surprising hey, amount man. of anti-Final Fantasy people in here. Oh, shoot. I don't, I don't think he said he was anti. No, I guess so, but just, like, not into it, but I still wanted to check out the stream, which is very sweet. Right. God, these items do disappear. the lightning, Ben. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Ben, how come you don't remember that? Um, because I think, honestly, it's because I'm scared of using my MP. But, like, regenerates? Is that the idea? If you walk on those little blue hockey yeah. puck things, yeah. I feel like I don't see I feel, like, I feel like it's something you underutilize by... Like, like, that's amazing. Well, just when the shooting's this satisfying, you don't really want to throw away <laughs> opportunities, you know? I forget. I'm sorry. Is this really just like the place to fight is on this bridge? <laughs> it seems like a weird place to have your set piece fight, right? But what do I know? Oh, I should have healed. Scorch. Oh, he's talking about Warzone. I thought he had played Dirge of Cerberus. Has anybody other than uh, Puppy Liapalooza ever played Dirge of Cerberus here? <laughs> All right, Vincent, show us your acting chops. All right, Vincent, we're going to need a second take of you freaking the hell out. <laughs> Frankly, not right, believable. Vincent, this is our 40th take. Let's just no. try it again. Don't let chaos control you. You cannot be contained by this darkness. Because part of you was born from it. Yes. Find yourself. Regain control. His shadow played it. There we go. So for the final boss fight, I'm going to turn into chaos, right? Is that what's going on here? Yeah, seems like it. Okay. Thanks. It's also going to play the song that's at the end of um, Sonic Adventures. <laughs> How's that go? Can't hold on much longer. I can never let go. Ronnie, we are streaming this to the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> I can see why Lucrezia had such a difficult time. I don't know why I'm doing this. Is she in the proto material or what? I will die when my magic runs out anyway. Yeah, okay, Matt Paxton, thank you for also being confused about why she's in a bubble. <laughs> Ooh, the plump played it. What do you remember from it, the plump? Other than the ending, don't spoil anything for us, please. I know you want Vincent to. Vincent dies. It's possible. Yeah, it's possible. Is this the place you spoke of? <laughs> yes. Deep what? within this grotto is where chaos is destined to awake. Who that? <laughs> Wait. I don't know. It's an odd time to introduce somebody. Come on, Dr. Bowser! What? Like Headmaster said. <laughs> the fountain isn't going anywhere. Grimoire is Vincent's dad? Oh. And his name is Grimoire? <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> wow. Don't you think you are taking things a little too quickly? And why not? All those people at Shinra who laughed at my thesis. I have to prove them wrong. And they laughed at how I pronounce Shinra. <laughs> Rushing into matters will get you nowhere, Doctor. Oh, hang on. Or is this guy, Grimoire, going to fuse with chaos and that's how Vincent is born? Guys, this is intriguing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Are you all right, Dr. Valentine? 
I'll be fine. <sighs> yowie, wowie, wowie. <laughs> Okay. What a twist. Ooey wowie. <laughs> Ooey wowie Lucretia, I'm hurt real bad wowie bowie. <laughs> Dr. Bell! The hell? Tell my son that I'm... Is he entering the live stream? I guess? Is that how everybody does? Dr. Valentine! Dr. Valentine! Owie wow. <laughs> That's weird. I don't think everybody should get to do that. Yeah. Is he like a ancient or something? Like that seems very odd. No. Come back. Why did you Sean Eisenhower's got it right. He says, "Yeah, more fun of having hype." Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. It's all right. He simply returned to the planet. <laughs> His shadow says, "Tell my son how." Metal I was. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh. I'm glad he was Christian. He's a good Christian boy. First person crying on a Stop. cross is not exactly what I expected from Dirge Cerberus. Oh. Oh, is this again. Vincent? That's that's what I imagined. We we will. Is this? Oh, is that one-eyed lady? Of course we will. No. You're right. Shalua? Seems like it. Mom said everything in this world flows around in a circle. That means she'll come back someday. <laughs> Mom wouldn't lie to us, right? Mm. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Right. Right? Yes. Chat, right? Shalua. Well, uh. Shell. Is it all right? For me to return to the planet. Okay, so that was Baby Shelk. <laughs> do 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 do. do. No. <laughs> hmm? Not. Yet. I'll be back in two minutes. What's Just... happening? I don't know. What's going on? Try... Okay. Is he building yeah. some sort of super weapon? Two minutes at a time. Don't worry. We'll see each other again. I think he's trying to catch a stringfish. <laughs> a dream? Yeah, Grant, did I miss the part where Shulk threw herself in a materia yeah. bubble or whatever the hell's going on here? Uh, if you missed it, I missed it as well. Okay. A lot of people are very confused by the story. Glad to know we're on top of it. I honestly can't keep track of it. Shelk and Shlua, their sisters, and she's learning how to be a human, remember? So she's experiencing the death of her sister and all that stuff. <laughs> I have two kids. Ben, ben Hansen's song brought back horrors. Oh, from Baby Shark, sorry. Hey. I stand by it. Baby Shark should have won Song of the Year over This Is America. This America is very good, though. Okay. <sighs> yeah, you better save, because I'm going to tear this town apart. Oh, that's like the chaos thing, isn't it? Or is this just a gate? All right. It's a chaos gate, yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> Straight uh, to a jukebox, too. Just how I like it. Yep. Oh, I could go for one of these on every corner. That's mm -hmm. my platform. Every boss fight. <laughs> uh, all right, we got 18,000 clams. What do we do? S Cerberus to S Cerberus Omega. 
Okay. What changes? Uh, the firing rate. But that's almost all of my money. Hmm. Could that be worth how's it? Your, uh, how's your ammo stock and all that good stuff do? Um, seems like it could be better, but I'm happy with this. Seems Pretty okay. Good, I don't think I'm running out anytime soon. I'm full on items. I'm going to get more money. Should I just do it? Could upgrade the Hydra, too. Hmm. Isn't this what we just did? <laughs> no, he did the Cerberus. Are you sure? Okay. Positive. And the Hydra is which one again? <laughs> Sniper rifle. Okay. Increased power and accuracy. Um, That seems pretty good. Yeah. Oh, the firepower. Improved firing rate. I don't want firing rate. Mm -mm. All right, let's go for this. 10,000 on improving power. Yeah. All right. Since that's your, your cheese weapon, might as well power it up. Got to have that cheese. All right, here yeah. we go. Whew, let's go head off into the great unknown. I like uh, having my pistol out as a default. Probably just a Resident Evil training here. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Hey! I don't want any trouble. Wait. They put that in the box? Is that what's going on there? They still need to be transported, so. There's <laughs> a barrel in a box in area. What? Oh! Did you see that dirty move? That's disgusting. This game is devilish. Giving you a potoin, hiding people inside jukeboxes. Yeah, the potoin is one thing, but. <laughs> God dang. What do you think Making that think potoin got... does? Making you think you got poutine in your inventory? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, during these times of quarantine, I wish I had a little poutine in my inventory. Oh, God, that sounds so good. Mm -hmm. Honestly, do you have any guess what potoin does? <laughs> uh, I think it's <laughs> just a troll potion that heals you for three three hit points, man. But that's already basically what the red potion is. Sometimes. Yeah, that's true. All right, what's going on here now? Where is this guy? Do you think people... Um... Is that a machine down there? Outside of uh, northern United States and Canada, oh know what poutine is? Yes. yes. Well, they yeah. should. Um, but yes, I believe so. Getting worked over by this guy, Ben. I know. Thank you for noticing that. <laughs> uh, Jermaine has a fun question. Yeah. Uh, he says, Ben, do you ever think that American storylines in games are just as con just as confusing to Japanese gamers with the uh, translation going that way, too? It's a wonderful question. I'm sure some are. For sure. I'm sure... Yes, I think that's right. Um, maybe not to the extreme, because it's, it's, there's something about like the arrogance of storytelling with some of Square's work, you know, where it's like, look how cool this is. It kind of crawls up its own butt a little bit too much, you know? And sure. So I'm sure there's plenty of Western games that are up their butt too, but yeah, I'm sure. Um, I remember Alex Hutchinson, the director of like Far Cry 4 um, and Assassin's Creed 3. What am I doing? Um, he uh, <laughs> he got in a lot of trouble on Twitter years ago for saying something I thought was interesting where he's like, we are too kind and reviewers are too kind to Japanese storylines in games. And maybe it's translation, whatever it is. He's like, people make fun of Gears of War for having a bad story. But he's like, yeah. I literally played Bayonetta and it's not that it's bad. It is like incomprehensible and embarrassing. <laughs> It's like, there's something yeah. to that. I think he's going a little bit far, and people just took it as him saying Japan sucks, but like, oh my god. I, I think that's, yeah. Um, I, I think that if, like, if, if Japanese culture, like, looked at American games like Americans look at American games, they would have revised the way that they tell stories in the past like 10 years but that's not really been the case so which makes you wonder if it's wait what I like, walk, me through, walk me through that again what are you saying what i'm saying is um like if japanese developers thought of american storytelling like americans think of american storytelling then japanese storytelling would probably transition or evolve or, or transition to more of like uh, American standards of storytelling, but they haven't, which makes me think that like, you know, like the way that they tell their stories is. I'm, I'm paying attention. I'm just flummoxed. This thing's a boss fight. What's happening here? <laughs> what is happening? Uh... <laughs> but yes, uh, that could be Dave. But I do think I'm sure that a lot of. Do you see what I'm saying? But with that, like. 
I guess, but I think you're downplaying how much Japanese developers do pay attention to like Western storytelling oh, uh, for their games and stuff. You know, like, you know, going over there so many times, it's like, yeah, a lot of Japanese developers like, yeah, Breaking Bad rules. Like, I mean, it's like media is pretty global, you know? Yeah. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. What is this? Oh, hello, man. Goodbye, man. All right. Are you watching? Are you watching Westworld? Then? You're no, not a Westworld I'm not. guy. I like the first season, but this is okay. stupid looking. Um, what do you think of season three so far? Uh, season three is wildly different than the first two. I, I really like it so far. And Aaron Paul's in it, right? He is. Oh my god. Um, so you like it so far? That's good. Yeah. D is it important to watch season two? Yeah. Okay. Can you uh, can you shoot those as you go? Just like hold the gun out in front of me and Grant. <laughs> God, handsome and smart. Oh, thank you. But terrible breath. Oh hell. <laughs> this is how you decide to tell him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not in the same room. Uh, hello, jukebox. Thank you for not being a secret man. Imagine if you went up to a bar, like a jukebox in a bar, and put in a quarter, and then it turned into a man. <laughs> uh, congratulations, Busted Vinyl, on catching your string fish. Oh, during the stream he did it? Yes, sir. Oh, my God. I think it's pretty rude not to pay attention to Dirge, but I guess everyone can kind of watch their own way. I support your cause. Yeah. <laughs> So I shouldn't be playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> is that what you're taking two minute breaks for? Is it just really focus on it? Once in a while, you just gotta tap A. <laughs> 400 times when you're trying to visit somebody else's island, yeah. Okay. Close your phone. <laughs> Am I? Oh, hello. <laughs> Stupid. Feels like a lightning scenario again. Yeah, there's gotta be a better, better way to do this. I mean, that was fine. I don't know if I'd call it effective, but it was fine. Oh my god. Let me in. Let me in. All right. Well, <laughs> everything seems to be in order. <laughs> what the hell? Shh. Hey. I know that Shinra is like evil and confusing and stuff, but like they just have hundreds of men <laughs> stationed underground. <laughs> Waiting for you. Yeah, okay, I guess so. The, Hold the uh, line. The news of the war uh, three years ago hasn't breached the, the deep ground. <laughs> I so. see. Oh, also something uh, else that's kind of fun with uh, Crisis Core is it touches on like the Wu Tai Midgar War a little bit more. Uh, busted Vinyl's asking a, a question that I can relate to here. Uh, if anybody else closes their eyes when fishing in Animal Crossing to focus on the plop, and yes, sir, absolutely. Yeah, people run into our game club talking about that exact thing. I'm a spaz if I watch him go for the bobber. Yeah. Uh, Jermaine with the fun question here, too. Love it. Um, the PlayStation 5, it seems that we know nothing about their launch lineup. I can't yeah. remember a time in gaming where we did not know anything about the system selling launch games. Uh, can you think of a time? Um, no, it is it is pretty odd. I mean, definitely the, the roadmap for developers and publishers has been shorter and shorter throughout the last five years in particular. Um, so it's a little bit odd. I'm sure COVID threw off their plans, but yeah, who the hell knows? Honestly, I think their messaging is really bad so far. Um, mm -hmm. I know people just want the big reveal, but I feel like they've, they're setting themselves up in a way where I'm a little bit worried about it. I don't think it's going to be a full Xbox One messaging blunder, but like, I don't have faith in PlayStation's messaging and marketing at this point, which is something that I think is fun to track. But yeah, what, I, what I do um, have an interest in is the new Xbox, um, just because of all the um, acquisitions they've, they've got and the yeah. messaging and um, but, that oh my a God. very appealing system. Uh, yes, but I think they're doing a better job messaging wise, but at the same time, oh, look at this lovely room. It's like an Animal Crossing room. Um, <laughs> but why would you ever buy one, Ronnie? Sincerely. 
Can you give me one reason why you'd buy one? As, Sorry? as somebody with a good PC, like there's zero yeah. reason. Yeah, no, I know. I know. It's so know. weird. But I mean, that, that's that's kind of the realm that they're they've been shooting for. Is like somebody with a good PC is not their um, is not their their target market. Yeah, yeah. It's it's been kind of a weird pissing match over hardware when. It, I, I don't know if I'm in the majority. Um, yeah. God damn. But I care much more about what the first party games are versus a couple of teraflops here and there, a little bit of RAM or something like. Yeah, everybody's like I so mean, excited about, you know, the teraflops for Xbox, but it's like all they do is show Horizon Zero Dawn 2 and it's like, well, okay, I guess I'm in. Oh, yeah. What the hell am I supposed to do here? Materia. I, I, I shot Materia once. I guess I'll try it again. Is it doing it? We'll never know. I don't know. Um, uh, Scorch too. He cares about where his friends are playing, and yeah, I'm I'm on the same page there too. Yeah. Yep. Although, hey, with the uh, maybe you know crossplay being more of a standard this time around, maybe that'll be less of an issue. That'll be exciting. Yeah, I, I really, really, really hope so. I, I just love being able to play like Warzone on PC um, and have friends that are playing on PS4. It's, mm -hmm. it's so much fun. What do I do? Is there a place you can drop down to once you go through the door? Or is it just an all-out onslaught? I mean, God, I guess I have the money. I'll just buy potions and just go for this here. Watch my health, please. Oh, my God, in heaven. <laughs> Get out. Make it count. Go for those potty shots. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say potty? Shot. I Sir? Ponty shots. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Dr. Chug here says all they have to do is mention God of War 2, Bloodborne 2, Spider Man 2, and then the, the sales will go up instantly. Yeah. yeah. Sit back and. If, watch if them I fly. saw Bloodborne 2, I would uh, take $1,000 and I'd throw it out my window right now. <laughs> really? <laughs> Hold on, I'm coming over, Dave. I'll talk, I'll talk about Bloodborne 2. <laughs> Somebody calls it a pole toy shot. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Cut! <laughs> Alright. I see you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> Gary? Alright. Um, what a silly door. I'm coming down! Let me know if it's cool. <laughs> what is this? Uh oh, he's taking his two minute cough break? Yeah. Zero out of four items. Ah! Okay. Alright, I guess you don't want me to get what I think is important. Is this really where I'm supposed to be going? This looks pretty good, yeah. How many card keys could they possibly have? Ah! Get back in your hole, buddy! One of the uh, famous quotes in this whole stream is, how many card keys could they possibly have? <laughs> All right, boys, we're making a video game. It's Square, we got a budget, it's Final Fantasy VII. We have $100 million. What's design principle number one on the whiteboard? <laughs> okay, well, let's keep talking. Maybe we can come up with some other ideas. This could really yeah, or be the key cards. <laughs> okay, I'll write down card keys and key cards. Um, anything else? I mean, we could make a systemic game. We could create a new How genre. How many card keys are in there? Hang on, just to make sure, am I? Am I alone? Can I get a raise of hands? Show of hands for people who want the card key system to be the predominant feature in this game. I'll, I'll, I'll be down. All right. I'll, I'll sit down and um, I retire as director of Dirge of Servers, Final Fantasy VII. All right. Now that he's gone, uh, back to the real question. How many card keys are going to be in this game? What's, what's the highest number? <laughs> and that is the final act of Loveless. <laughs> <laughs> And lo, there were 100 card keys. 
And lo, each texture was muddier and worse than the last. <laughs> <laughs> what are these items? When am I going to find an item? I'm going to need you to find these items, Ben. Am I going back to those areas where the card key was a barrier? All right, game. All right, game. Uh, the one that had the two items behind it, you should have the card key for it. Yeah. Is this going to be a button? Oh, it is! Big Nero! Vincent. Nero. At first, I thought you nothing more than a nuisance. However, it seems I can no longer let you run about unchained. I must protect my beloved brother. Brother? Your brother. Dear Vice. Oh, never mind. Powerful Vice. The only person who ever loved me, and the only person I will ever love. This guy's kind of fun. However... I believe last time you said that he had the worst to design. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this game has nuked my opinions. Uh, I'm fried, baby. Take your time. His shadow says, gotten. "Bondage boy the boss fight." <laughs> Everything changed. You got a bondage boy boss fight? Shelk. Ah, yes. What did I do with her? I do recall running into the lass when I journeyed to the airship. Vincent, I don't want to tell you how to be a cool vampire guy, but just a couple bullets right now would be great. Just <laughs> let him have it, please. Lost. Like a little puppy. Oh, we're starting this? Okay. <laughs> ah. Here so we go. Wish to dance. Ah, eat. Oh. Narrow the sable, not too stable. All right, let's see. Well, we're off to a good start. Ah! Have you tried shooting back? I was kind of building tension, Grant. It's the way I like to do Let's Plays. Is um, I role play it to kind of get into Vincent's head. You also, should shoot more, though. Also, I like to run out of ammo. It's kind of like my fun way of... <laughs> he, looks like a, he looks like a lightning type thing. Yeah, yeah I think you're right. Grant, is that your way just of getting me to use materia? Is constantly saying that they seem like a certain type? Yep. Okay, that well, works pretty well. This guy's gonna have a bunch of forms, right? Because this is pretty simple. I'm gonna guess two forms. Okay. I'm going three. Oh! <laughs> do we hear four? Do we hear four? We got one in front of the table, we got two forms near the table. Do I hear four? Uh, Lazarus wants you to use the, the poutine. Right now? What if it poisons me? Oh no. <laughs> what is happening? What? This guy's multiplying himself. Really, game? I think this is going to be a timed thing. I think it's going to be a damage based thing. Oh my god. Alright. Am I doing damage to all of them? Uh, yeah. Uh, this is one collective health, yeah. Okay, that's nice. Oh, alright. Squiddle Willow thinks just one form. Uh, he's a maniac. Hey Grizz, five forms. Five Please forms? God. Please God, no. Oh, no! Oh, Grant, did you see that? No, you got your favorite thing. There's a jukebox in this in this dance floor. Oh, boy. oh that's a two phaser then for sure. At least. Uh, two one... phaser. I'm saying three phaser. Three phaser. Well, hell. Just met her. Um... No, I want you to repeat that one. <laughs> three phaser. Just met her. Oh, that's not an item at all. Hang on. Forty people just left. <laughs> And uh, they all simultaneously started doxing me, which... <laughs> yep, that's your address, all right. <laughs> Got him pegged. 200 health, 200 health. Thank you, Grant. For the love of God. 
mean, I guess I could do Limit Breaker, but this guy seems yeah. like a... Yeah, okay. save that for phase two. I'd say save that for phase three, but... I'd 200 health again. You gotta dodge those for reals. Yeah. Hurt. No kidding. Um, God, I'm scared to... This is no time for a pull twain. Please, sweet Jesus, be one for him. What? That was like the weird blue attack that, uh... Yeah, pur purple orbs. Living on the edge, there we go. Kind of living on the edge, taking up too much space. What do you think of this? <laughs> Just lets you beat the crap out of him for a while. Don't get up. Impressive. Perhaps Azul and Rosa never stood a chance against the mighty Valentine. Oh. But enough. I have other matters to attend to. What is this? Just let me kill you now, please. They wouldn't like no, to No, he has to he has to wait patiently for him to What? Phase out of there. Is he really leaving? It's a five minute process. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Alright, Vincent. You're allowed to look the way you want to look. And I'm allowed to not talk the way I want to talk. So this is the end. What is this? <laughs> oh, Matt Paxton called it. This. Good job, Matt Paxton. Unless you are on top of it. Appealing about this place. I suggest we leave. Let's go. So did Nero Put him in this phantom zone? Am I alone here? No, it was Grimoire. It was Grimoire. Oh, thank you. Thank you, lore expert. Job well done. Oh, it'd be really cool if Shell clawed alongside me. I see. Soul wrought of Tara corrupt. My darkness would have no control over you, would it? People are very confused. So I must try a different dance. I hope that dance involves talking faster. How about... So not to uh, shed uh, too much light on Matt Paxton over here, but he's really killing it. Uh, he's making the prediction of, will he say, how can this be? 100%. And I'm, I'm going to... I'm with you, Matt Paxton. He is going to say, how can this be? Yep. That's right. That's when Yuffie praise, tears him apart. Feel the radiance of Wutai Super Ninja. Yuffie Kisaragi. Back and ready for action. Yes. Kis Kisaragi. My brother calls. <laughs> huh. What? Right. what is this scene? Were they trying I... to be funny? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, she just answered your question. <laughs> Maybe I was dreaming. Hey! What is happening? Okay. There we go. Good. <laughs> Stage clear. Um, how are you two doing? Well, uh, <laughs> there is exactly one full stream's worth of uh, content remaining in this game. Are you confident on that? Yep. Meaning... Oh, okay, so you're looking at like a Let's Play or something? Uh, just the amount of chapters. Okay, well maybe they'll go fast, you never know. Um, boy, one... 
It's I'm leaving it up to you guys. Um. Yeah, I think it would make more. I I feel like it would make sense if there's actually another two hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To do to do a, a final stream. Okay. The final stream. All right. The let's final say. stream. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. And this is one of those. No matter what, the final stream. Yep. Now we could do yeah, the final stream right now. Um. But the next two hours. That's fine. Actually, I need to prep for the podcast tomorrow and play more Resident Evil 3 and stuff. So next save point here, we'll stop. But we'll let You'd their right. sweet reunion happen first. Yeah. Oh, no. Thank you. So Yuffie went all the way down there. So do you think that was Yuffie stealing those items then? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Okay. 100%. Well, if we have faith in the game, then we think it was Yuffie. You keep going, find Nero and Vice, and smack them into next Tuesday. And while you're cleaning house, I sneak into the reactor and shut her down. You got it. Haha, <laughs> sounds like a plan. Well, she's fun. So, see you around, Vince. <laughs> he did not uh, agree Squid to any of that. Squid -O Willow is asking if we're going to do a new game plus. Uh, you got the new game part right. It's fun as the plus. <laughs> <laughs> new game, comma, plus fun. <laughs> Discoverer? Yes. Is that his island name, like an Animal Crossing on his passport? He's the Discoverer of Revengeance, I believe. Oh, I see. Lucrezia? Hello? Anybody here? For the last time, it's Lucretia. <laughs> oh. Someone's gonna learn something about daddy here. No daddy. Father? Who's? Lucrezia, this file. It's, it's none of your business. But it is. Okay. Why didn't you tell me you worked with my father? Stop it! Just stop it! Lucrezia. And then it fades to black. Not a dry eye in the house. <laughs> it was all my fault. I didn't mean for your father to die. I couldn't. I am so sorry. Nope. But I never blamed her. Was to see her face. Grant, you gotta quit talking about Animal Crossing in that chat. <laughs> no. <laughs> Text about <anybody. laughs> fish shadow sizes. So you've come to the only shadow the size you should care about is the one on Hojo's face. <laughs> Because he asked about his dad, the Kritzia freaked out and then ran into Hojo's arms? Is that what I'm learning here? Hang on. I'm going to hold for <laughs> any type of response. <laughs> I think Dave's catching a fish right now. <laughs> so help me Hang God. On, I'm almost not pressing A. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just didn't know the answer to your question. So. <laughs> So you're saying <laughs> that Lucrezia found solace in Hojo's to warm embrace. Ground yeah. And stop Omega's okay. return. All right, he just gave us like the big it's goal. It's nice. The end is put to this madness, or at least that is what I tell myself. Though I'm not completely sure that's the reason. Hmm. Sure. Neither am I. But, Vincent, I don't want to see the world. She 
sucks. I just, yeah. I just don't want Why does every character in this game have to talk so slow? I don't know. It is really across the board though, isn't it? Yeah. I guess did Barrett, S when he was on the phone, he was he was having a good I was time. Say, did Sid talk at a reasonable rate too? I forget. I, I think he did. I think he did. Yeah. All right. It certainly looked like it saved. And uh, are we still in deep ground? Where are we? A uh, very good question. Does the game Doesn't know? look like anything changed. Yeah. Boy. Uh, let's do it. It looked like we were having a meeting somewhere, but I guess just in that same area. So I guess we're probably still underneath General Headquarters, but whew. It seems like it's all building up towards a big Shinra showdown. Yep. I mean, it's felt like that for a while, but yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, Dirge of Cerberus, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Tyler Davis, Matt Paxson in particular, Ruger Singh, uh, Dark Ace TG, Busted Vinyl, Squiddo Willow, 4 plus 5, uh, Jermaine, hey, 6111. Yeah, Shadow. Uh, thank you so much for sticking with us, everybody. You're all the real heroes here. Forget Vincent, forget Chaos, forget everything. You are the great ones. Um, Squiddo Willow is wondering, next stream. Um... We're talking about Thursday. Maybe Thursday, eh? I think I could swing it, yeah. Uh, Ronnie? Uh, possibly. Okay, we'll communicate to the community and let them know exactly what we have planned for when we're going to be finishing off Dirge of Cerberus because we got to go for the long haul here because, yeah, we got to figure out when we're streaming Midgar. we got to find the best possible time for that, and that, uh, that's going to be a blast. But also, that one's going to be long, too, so... We'll figure yeah. it out. But again, thanks for sticking with us. Uh, if you're not familiar, we're a Patreon about Games Friends getting better. You can check us out with the link right here, up there. We'd love to have your support because uh, we're going to be doing the Final Fantasy VII Game Club like uh, that we call the Deepest Dive, which is going to be the best, most thorough discussion about the remake on the internet. And you can support us on Patreon and unlock the podcast version of that. But enough plugging. Now we rest and stop thinking about Vincent for a little bit. All right. Uh, Ronnie, do you want to say your trademark sign-off? And that's the dirge. <laughs> Bye. See ya.